Well, you may want to follow um, something of the postings I have on YouTube under Marshall Richard Hope. And um, I should just add from, from the perspective of standing once again for the board that what matters to us is people and what we really draw to or are repelled by is our view of the person rather than some declaration of their intent or what they think their policies are or how wonderful they think they are <laughs> or even how wonderful other people think they are but of course it's very hard to have personal experience of each of the possible candidates. In the end, I think we try to go on an intuition to replace perhaps our lack of knowledge and experience of the persons that hold themselves up for office or have been held up for office. And I think it's probably important to realise that. What do I want to tell you that I value? Well, I think I value a strange form of integrity, which is that if a material doesn't hold together, we can't build or do anything with it. I hold loyalty as being absolutely fundamental. And the same with the word integrity. It's not something that's really used that much these days. And I am incredibly old. <laughs> Though I have a little girl of eight called Aria, and she keeps me young at heart. I have an overwhelming desire to bless people, and not just people, but all life. I don't have to be told to love my enemies. I have an overwhelming desire within me to love my enemies and in fact to tell, to say that I have no enemies. There are people that have harmed me of course but, well, children make mistakes don't they? But parents don't stop loving them because of that. And we are the same. Wherever I can, I desire to be loyal to those whom I love and trust. And that extends way beyond times when they don't seem to show the same towards me. I, I seek an integrity, you see, of relationship through time. But I also seek to recognize the good in all things though it be a society that's pressing me to do what I don't wish to do. I yield to such because an integrity of the society in which I live is fundamental to the well-being of all of us, whether that society be as I would have it or not. For a collapsed society is a disaster. So I support authority, at the least while it has the power to remain in authority. And doing so leaves me with a residual of loyalty to the persons themselves. Because whether I agreed or disagreed with what they did, is not fundamental to my relationship with them, but rather that I've walked with them for a while and know them face to face, person to person, they matter to me. And I value them as people when they no longer have the office. 
Indeed, you know, even when you meet an enemy of some time in the past, there's a great pleasure in a reunion with someone that you know well, even though there were great difficulties. Somehow you still love them. And that is good. Very good. May God bless you. May you be overwhelmingly aware of his love for you and in you always. Thank you, Heavenly Father.